Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna see AWS Lambda Layers. Layers is about how to effectively manage external dependencies in AWS Lambda functions. For example, we have Lambda function which depends on a third party module of Python. We usually download that module, package it along with our Lambda function code, zip it, upload to AWS and run it. Let's say we have several different functions depending on same dependency. So without layers, we have to include that same code in multiple zips, upload that to S3. So this can drastically increase the size of your S3 because every function has a duplicated external dependencies. The better way to manage this scenario is use layers and put that external dependency in it. Refer that layer in all the functions. Let's get started with demo. First, I want to create a layer. Let's get started with demo. First, I want to create layers. So, let's create a folder with name python make sure for this example the folder name is python then in that python folder let's install our external dependencies so i want to install request module into this python folder Let's check the content of Python folder. Yeah, we see that dependencies are kept inside this Python folder. Now let's zip this folder and go to AWS Management Console and create the layer. I opened my Explorer, uh, navigate to the location where we created Python directory, my home location hurry trainings and python this folder contains our dependencies if you want to include more dependencies in same folder yes you can do that but right now i included only one dependency so right click on this python folder make sure you are zipping the python folder itself not the content of python folder right click compress right we got the zip file keep it here let's go to AWS console here we are in AWS lambda console click on layers create layer name it describe it it's optional upload the zip file this guy python dot chip open that choose compatible runtimes uh, i want to choose python 3.8 because on my local machine uh, i have python 3.8 and i used pip of it for including the dependencies otherwise choose the environments on which this package will run without any issues you can choose multiple environments as well for example python 3.7 and 3.8 license which is optional leave it and create the layer click on layers now yes this is our layer which is version 1 let's say in future we want to include additional dependencies to same layer i could do that i can upload one more time which creates version 2. Bear in mind, request is a dependency which is not available in AWS Lambda environment. 
AWS Lambda runtime, it's going to have only Python specific dependencies and Boto 3. Okay. So the other dependencies like requests we are using in this example is not part of Lambda runtime in AWS. So anything which doesn't exist in Lambda runtime, we have to include that explicitly, maybe in the form of layer like we are doing now. Now let's go ahead and create a function which is going to use the layer and access the dependencies in that layer. Create function. Layers demo. I'm naming it layers demo runtime Python 3.8. So permissions leave all defaults. That's okay. Create function. Let's go ahead and let's run this function. So let's run this function without using request object and without using layers. Test. So I can send any dummy data for testing this function because it could be anything. We're not using that that event object inside our code. So what I pass here could be anything. So click on test and see what happens. We got a success response, right? Now let me import request module. Deploy it. See, remember, this one is not part of Lambda runtime. Even our function is not referring to any layers. Okay. Go ahead. Test it. It should fail, obviously. Uh, it should fail saying request module not home. So how to tackle this? We created a layer which contains request module. Let's tie up that layer to this function. Click on layers. Add layer. Um, choose custom layers. Request version. Right now, there is only one version. Add. Right. Now go and execute or test this one. See now, it's not failing. So my function is able to refer the external dependency which is part of layer. So likewise, we could have hundreds of Lambda functions which depends on same external dependency. So it points to that layer and gets the job done. This way we are saving lots of space in S3 when we upload functions to AWS Lambda console. This also keeps our uh, uh, Lambda uh, zip file size very less and it will be fast to upload and things will be fast now. Now we could say layer is a zip of dependencies. We can go ahead and create n number of layers, right? But there is a limit how many layers a function can refer. A function can refer maximum 5 layers. That's all from this video guys. Thanks for watching. See you again.